What is up guys? Troublesome here. Uh, working on getting this blue station wagon out of my garage so we can go barn hunting. Uh, got some suspension issues. This guy's got high standards, not a Cletus. Wants 100% everything. Lottie dotty everything. So we're going to get him fixed up. I have an impression that something is not right. Let's we'll see what we can fix first. Not much. Not much at all. I didn't see that radiator pop up, but man, that sucker looked bad, so we're going to go ahead and hook him up. Hook him up. Uh-oh. Yes, of course. Of course. All right. How you guys been? I, hey, it's the great thing about screwing up as much as I do. You end up with extra parts. Went to see my mom in the hospital again. She's been in there for about a week now. Not a huge fan of the hospital that she's at for personal reasons, but I don't know. They're trying to get to the bottom of it of what's ailing her. It's really frustrating. They can't figure it out. I'm not going into details or anything, but it is. It is. Look at the inside of that throttle body's rusty, that butterfly, but I don't care. That's not what we're here for. Hmm. Dang. Alright, so we need lower suspension arm drive axle C shock absorber A let's jump into it let's go lower C front shock A this this mm -hmm. Lower suspension arm. Worm. Probably not. <clears throat> That's why I got so many extras. Um, I got the in links. I don't remember if the steering rack was bad or not. <sighs> Inner tie rod. Definitely need some of the EM. Need some for next time around, too. Uh. Um. So somebody was asking me today um, Facebook about the crates and if they're worth it. <laughs> I was like, man, they're... What the hell? I really thought I bought two. Oh, I only need one. Duh. One side. I already had the other one. Anyway, he was asking me if they're worth it. Like if they're... And I, <laughs> I had to be honest. I was like, no. Honestly, you don't get that much good stuff out of them. But I think it's more about the thrill of the hunt than it is the actual contents of the crate. I mean, what could they put in there, you know? It'd be neat if they, you could get, like, cars. Like, like crappy need-to-be-rebuilt cars, but still cars. I think that'd be kind of rad. Oh, sway bar. Link. Anyway, what do you guys think about the crates? I mean, they, honestly, they kind of suck. That's the thrill of the hunt. Now, these barn finds, I haven't figured out what the appeal is of that either. These barn maps. Because, uh... It seems like I already had a bunch of barns on my map. And it also seems... Oh. <laughs> Remember I said I didn't think I needed any? Man, I was wrong. Anyway, it also seems like, um... Oh god, I'm just gonna buy a shit ton of them. 
Oh, God. Okay. Train of thought. Derailed. It also seems to me like they... The barns regenerate different stuff every time. So what's the point of the barn find? You know what I'm saying? that make any sense? If they regenerate randomly, who cares? Just keep going back until you get what you want. I don't know. Point is, we're going to get this sucker out of here. And we're going to... Good. We're going to go do some barning. Do they call it barning? I don't think they do. Post a comment. What do they call it? See, look at all these freaking barns anyway. And I don't know which ones my new ones are. So... Also, $50 to drive to a barn. Never spent that much. For the sake of proving this, I'm going to... A purple cobra. Uh, for the sake of proving this, I'm going to... Take some screenshots of the barn uh, set. Like the the array of barns in my, in my repertoire now. And then I'm going to do it after I get a new one and I'm gonna go back to the same barn a couple different times and just see what happens I'm sure somebody's already done that and proven it but you know me the hard way or no way and that how this goes my way or the highway oh no the hard way or no way that's how it goes junk I like how it's called junk All right, room full of disappointment. Don't like any of these cars. Go back, let's try again. All right, bar number two. That's an RX-3, I think. No, Salem Flamo. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like a Pinto. It is a Pinto. How could that possibly be worth that much money? <laughs> I love it. $10,000. Oh my God. Oh, we're restoring a Pinto and we're making the Mirthmobile. Even though I know that's an AMC Gremlin, uh, it's close enough. Junk. Let's see if the rake has anything. There's that GTO looking thing that we did the other day. Oh my god, I can't even believe this thing is this valuable. I can't wait to waste my money on it. Hell to the yeah. Garage. Alright, um, so I'm going to go do another barn. Uh, before I do that Pinto Resto. Check it out, guys. I love it. Alright, here we go. Another barn. I'm just going to go around the horn here. Okay, barn number three. This one's cool. I don't think I've ever seen this barn before. What's up with that light? It fades away as I walk towards it. It's crazy. Ah, the inline six. The coveted ooh, Corvette. And a gigantic Cadillac. 18. 16. Forty one. What am I missing here? What am I missing about what do these go for restored? Oh my god. That is maddening. And the engine is supercharged. I don't know. Ugh. This Bjarn is big. Bjarn. Big Bjarn. Oh, God, I'm drunk. Okay, here we go. Over here. Nothing else. All right. All right, barn four. El Camino and a Volkswagen Beetle. Battelle. Which, this is a mod that I installed. It's a super cool mod. The model is pretty freaking gorgeous. Oh, I can't see in there. But it has got a crazy complicated uh, six cylinder in it, and it, ooh, we'll see through that. Anyway, it's got a six cylinder that's like 
dual overhead cam fuel injected nuttiness. I think the guy modeled it that way because the transaxle setup works like perfect because that was a rear, that's from a rear engine. Uh, oh, it's from that little hatchback that was in that last barn. Anyway, that's I think that's why he did it. It's definitely not air cooled. All right, barn five, last one. Another freaking GTO. And another Volkswagen. Well, that is disappointing. TV, oh cool, Bean TV. All right, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Okay, <clears throat> I gave up on the barn. Gave up on the barns. Because it just wasn't bearing much fruit. I don't know what I'm expecting to find. I, I don't really know what my expectations are, but for whatever reason, I expect more. So I'm going to restore this uh, to full 100% everything and then see what it will sell for because I am just shocked that it costs as much as it did to buy. <clears throat> okay guys, it's like three hours later. I am back. Uh, so I'm doing this overhaul on this Pinto, which is called a Flamo, <laughs> on this game. And I overhauled the engine, and I kind of decided, got to get a little carried away, and put some performance parts on it. Not everything performance, but quite a bit performance parts on it. So I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But I did it. So... Uh, I got the body all dolled up. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this thing back together for your viewing pleasure. And then we're going to dyno it. I'm just curious how much you can cram out of one of these. Um, ooh. Just curious how much you can really cram out of one of these here. Four bangers. did get the old k &N red filter or filter I've never seen this car on this game it's it's peculiar because this engine is a little bit peculiar because of how much top to bottom you got to do when you're assembling this engine like if you notice there's no exhaust manifold on here I couldn't put it on the stand either I have to put this on first from under the car then put the exhaust manifold on now it's kind of squirrely She's going to be hot to trot. I kind of wish I could turbocharge it, but, you know, it is what it is. It are what it are. That stupid, elusive, freaking clutch bearing. Forget it every time. Going to need an upper suspension arm. This is the only one that's any good. Gonna need two bottom suspension arms. We'll get there though. We don't have too far to go. Actually, I got probably got a lot further than I think. I just want to get as much on here as I possibly can before I go to the store. And stock up. That upper arm shot. Did get performance exhaust on this thing. Really curious. Anybody jump anybody topped one of these things up? Anybody actually wasted the time and money to do it? By God I did. But I'm super curious as to how much uh, horsepower I'm gonna get out of it. Alright, I need to get a bottom suspension arm, an upper suspension arm.
Oh, I need some brake discs. I need that clutch bearing. Let's just let's just get something. Let's get some bottom and the lower. They're tricky with the bottoms and lowers. I don't know about these. I think I need all this. I don't know. Okay, just spent a bunch of money buying parts. And I think I've got what I need. I say that every time, and I never do. Never ever. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Got it. Bada boom. Boom, boom. Beam. Beam. Double wishbone. Look at all that green. Now I'm going to be tasked with the daunting decision of what kind of wheels to put on this thing. I don't really think anything looks good on this car. To be honest, it's not very it's not a very good looking car. Try to get something like the Mirthmobile. But I don't know if there is such a beast. I don't know. Hmm, something tells me I forgot that link on this side. I did not. I really thought I did. Okay, do we even have the rear axle? Oh, it repaired. Goodness. All right. We are just about done putting this suspension together here. Just not a super talkative mood tonight. I don't really know what's going on with that. But I'm not, so I just did a lot of that in silence. Ooh, doggy, we're getting close. Put some oral in it. All right, guys. I just wasn't paying attention and overfilled the oil thing, and I got an achievement for it. <laughs> I gotta see how bad it is. Yeah, she's over the line. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about that. Uh, I guess I gotta drain it all out. Dang. I've never done that before. Uh, level, level up. Nope. Level up with the achievement. Yeah, I'm just gonna drain it all. Damn. <laughs> Oh, crap. B. 
just start splashing out on top of the valve cover. Okay, successful that time. <laughs> on to wheels. I'm gonna jump jump cut here because this is labor intensive for me. No, it's not. Mirth. The Mirth Mobile. They were like this, kinda. They were chrome chrome domies. And some white walls. Now, I will spare you this ridiculously boring mounting and balancing process, though. All right. Let's size them up. We got a super low pro tire. Probably got a little carried away. Oh, that's actually kind of dope. I kind of like it. Yeah, I do. I do. I win. I win. Wiener of the cool car with cool rims. Oh, ow. Oh, hit my head on that eye or that beam. Yeah, the retro wheels just weren't doing it for me, guys. They really weren't. These are doing it for me. That is amaze balls. Okay, one final touch before I think. Put it in the paint booth. Wayne's World was in Illinois. So we're going to do two Illinois plates. I can't remember if they had custom plates or not, but we're just going to do mirth. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that freaking definitely works. Now we got to get some interior. I don't know. It's got to be the flame o bench. So now I got to look and see what my options are here because they're always super limited when it's a specialized bench like that. Oh, thank God they got brown. Sweet. And let's just see what kind of steering wheel options we got for the Merc Mobile. I feel like Garth would have had a chain wheel. Yeah. Oh, whoops. That is... That is definitely doing it for me. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Why am I so into this car? Spray it baby blue. See if we can put some flames on it. Take it to the dyno. That's not what I had in mind. 
That's not what I had in mind. Dang it. All right, we're going to have to go with none. We're just going to have to go with the baby blue. Uh, is that about right? I think it was a little less green. Not that blue. I think that's about right. Do pearl. I love it. Why are the white walls not white? So 114 out of the box. Um, we did some pop-up parts, but not crazy. 163 horse, 43% gain. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Got to find some custom liveries here to, or liveries or whatever, to put some flames on this. Kind of cartoony like the uh, movie Wayne's World. Okay, here it is, in all of its glory. Let's see what it's worth. $41,000. Holy cow. Did we get everything perfectly 100%? We did. Forty-one grand. Yeah, I think I will. What did we pay for this? Sixteen, fifteen. I can't remember what I paid for it, but that's not a bad, uh, not a bad little profit margin there. Okay, sold the Mirthmobile. That's gonna do it for today. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like Wayne's World, hit the like button. If you like the Mirthmobile, hit the damn like button. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I drop new content daily or near daily. Doing some simulator games here and there, different stuff. Um, that's, that's what I aim to do. I aim to please. So again, appreciate you guys hanging out and until next time, you guys have a good one.